Welcome to the channel guys. I hope you like today's video because it's about an unusual Swiss brand watch called Nove. This is the Modena, it's a chronograph. And I just normally get sent pictures by companies and I say, would you like to review one of our watches? I'm very grateful to be in that position, of course, but they sent me this picture. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, wow, that looks insane. So is it? I'm a bit of a zany chap, as many of you know, and I like some quirky watches now and then, but I don't like them to be too hideous. Uh, but this watch, when I looked at it straight away, I thought, wow, that looks interesting. It's definitely an unusual piece. Don't get me wrong. My wife saw it and said, oh, what is that? This isn't a watch for her. It's a watch for me and you guys. So what'd you get for your money with regards to the specification? So let's take a closer look. <laughs> No, I'm not playing anything to do with snooker today. I thought it'd be time to get these bad boys out again. Brand new, fresh pair of cotton gloves. because There's a lot of shiny surfaces on this watch. And it stops it looking all smudged up when I present it to you. Now, I'm going to start off straight away. What I try and do is to get out of the way. Things that may, for you guys, be possible deal breakers or things that you're not so happy about for this kind of price. Because um, I've had hands-on experience with this watch. I've worn it, enjoyed it. And this isn't a promotional video, so it's going to have honesty in it. And that's where we start with now. So first thing I noticed was, look at these large, illumined, raised loom pips on the inner chapter ring here. Uh, you see, you've got the top three here, which are like applied. You can see. And then two, three, four, aren't. Then five is. Nothing at six, obviously, because there's a thing in the way. Seven and eight, they, there is. But then at nine and ten, there aren't. So weird sporadic use of these. And this isn't a one-off. I've looked at pictures of, and reviews even, of, of other versions of this watch. And they also have one missing there. So for balance, I think it would either need all of them to have it, or none of them to have it. Uh, the other thing is it's got a massive 24 mil lug width. As you can see here, it is wide. So and I don't know how easy it is to change this out. I haven't bothered to try and dismantle this because it's got some weird, and it just looks like a flathead, but I don't, I don't really want to dismantle that. I don't think it would be just whack a standard spring bar in there. So you're kind of lumbered with this standard bracelet, which is very comfortable, don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's push pins, which is a bit of a cop out at this price, I reckon. Not far off $500, I'd want screw pins or even pin and collar or something a bit more of an upgrade. Butterfly clasp, you are relying on a bit of luck for it to fit you. But I love this integrated design. That is gorgeous. But the luck element for me was good because I'll put it on my wrist here again. And as you can see, it fits me absolutely perfectly. There's no rocking and rolling and wobbling and flying about. It's really good. And also while we're here, you can see the AR coating, which is a bit subtle. But anyway, yeah, it's actually very comfortable. No hair snagging or pulling. If you've got an increment of wrist size, which is a bit too big, a bit too small, this is either going to be you're either going to wear this slightly too tight or it's going to be flapping around loose. There's no half links or anything, no micro adjusts. That's just one slight risk. So you're going to have to watch a lot of reviews of this watch to find out if it fits someone with a wrist size the same as you, okay? And then you know you're right. But if you've got an average man's wrist size like me, seven inches, you're fine. Now the last thing which I'm going to criticize is for nearly $500, you've got, I would say, not one of the best uh, Ronda quartz movements in here. You could, They could have put one of their slightly more mecha quartz style movements in, but I'm going to unscrew these pushers. Press start. It's got a lovely positive action, but then it's just got the individual ticks. At least they line up perfectly, which is great. They do one that is, they, they use in like the Zodiac and things like that watches. They, they have like a smoother sweep. This as well, it's got a nice sort of quite fast reset, but I like one that snaps. Uh, so it's just a little bit of a cheaper movement, in my opinion, for a watch of this price. The other thing I suppose is one last criticism is, it is quite thick. It is a chunky beastie, but the 
sort of the plus side of that is it is adding to the sort of dynamic design, I suppose. It's, it needs a bit of depth to it to add these other character elements to it, which I'll go into a bit more detail in a sec. I just like the fact that they've had made so many sort of 3D elements on the dial design. It's got this really deep rehort in, on the inside with those mismatching blobs on there. You've got a lot of depth to this dial, and that is added by this double dome curved crystal, uh, which just makes this a, such a intricate and deep design. But again, I'm going to go into detail with that uh, in a bit. I'm just more criticizing initially that thickness. So now this is where I can discuss with you the things I do like. A lot of it is hinged and why I wanted to review this piece in the first place, and that is the design. It is captivating and different. It's a very modern take on a chronograph watch. It's not as fussy in terms of all the lots of very precise details in terms of what you get on a chronograph. This obviously doesn't have that. It's actually quite basic for its timing duties because all it has is you've got your stop and start pushes here, as you saw, and you just got to 30 minute counter there so that's it the other dial is uh, for the day complication and obviously there's the date and then you've got your regular ticking second sound down there at least they're all loomed that's really cool but the thing that adds the sort of interest to this watch is this i went for the silver version because i just think all brushed with a few polished elements really lift it up i love that sunburst dial and then you've got these really cool pieces which are sort of surrounding and screwed in place around these two wheels here which just looks so amazing i think it's just really cool to have that kind of extra height and depth incorporated into the design the screws are kind of haphazard they're not lining up perfectly or anything they're not sort of following a pattern they're just kind of randomly screwed in there as are these ones here really they just sort of follow their own pattern their own rules in life i'm just being picky about all these little details because this definitely for me it's, it's motorsport inspired and the reason why i say that is i didn't get told any of these things. I look at it and thought of these things. Being a motoring fan, the things I could immediately see, which I like as clever, is these parts, sort of almost shields or guards that wrap around both sides here. They look like brake calipers, which is really cool. And then look at these lugs here. You've got this sort of, it's like an airflow uh, vent, if you will, like you get or a brake duct. It just, again, looks really cool. It just t totally changes the look of the lugs and makes it look more intricate. And then this, bezel which obviously doesn't rotate it's just a, a fixed piece it looks like a brake disc these are just all the little elements which i like that are clever and then you've got the lovely knurling on here which is just lovely this is another positive the build quality of this watch is fantastic and then there's a nice little pop when it comes out easy to make all the adjustments and it's screwed out which is cool 200 meters on a chronograph watch is quite unusual so it's a bit of a beast of a watch but definitely a sporty number you could wear for many different occasions and then a bit more dressy, I suppose. And then these unscrew really nicely. They do have a really nice feel, these pushers. So tactile-wise, it hits all the right buttons. You know, it's really, really good. It is a big beast of a watch, 44K size, but then the lug to lug is only about 46. And then it really strongly tapers. I know it doesn't have uh, female end links here. It doesn't need it because look how quickly it conforms around. And that really helps it wear quite well. It's quite heavy though. It's sized up for me. I've taken a few links out, not many. It still weighs 177 grams, which I said in the spec section, but that for reference is quite heavy for a quartz watch, uh, but it's just definitely got wrist presence. And that's something that you're going to be enjoying with this kind of piece. It's got quirks as well, which we've highlighted, but spec wise, I think it's on the cusp of being a bit stingy with that movement, but everything else ticks the right boxes. And also like the I beautifully made this case back is. I know you don't always like look at the case back. When you want to take the watch off and just admire it, I just really think this bit is gorgeous. I love even just that little bit of red on there. It's just a nice touch. And even the back of the watch has got a really intricate design to it. Look at the way the lugs are sort of screwed into the case back here. Very, it's almost fussy, but not. You know, it works. It looks like a piece of automotive engineering. It's like something you'd have found sort of knocking around in the dashboard of a Zonda or something. That's, that's what I feel when I look at this. It's elements of Pagani Zonda. You know, not Pagani design. That, that would be uh, unfair to compare because no individuality there. But this, for a quirky, zany thing, it's definitely got that Italian flair, but with, with Swiss pedigree. And that's partly why I love the mental Zonda cars. This is almost like a Zonda on your wrist. So if you've enjoyed my review and you fancy getting one of these bad boys for yourself, I do have a, a discount code, which they've kindly given me at Nove. Thank you, guys. That will be in the description how you can utilize that. Yeah, makes the purchase a little bit more affordable. Now, if you've enjoyed this video about micro brown watches or Swiss watches or anything, I urge you to click on one of my links to my other playlists and then you get to enjoy more of my content, which I hope if you've enjoyed this one, it should hopefully transcend into another video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.